Cells at Work second season episode seven. Before we start, uh, before we start the review, I would like to remind everybody, okay? <clears throat> Maka lifestyle Twitch, Cells at Work is going to end, okay? Cells at Work season two, at least. This is part one, of a, of, a, of the two-part finale for season two, all right? If you ask me, these are the telltale signs of Oksana, colon cancer, right? The way, uh, the way he, the way he reproduces himself, it's scary. Final scene. Well, we just saw, uh, we just saw the other good bacteria swimming away from ordinary cell. At uh, nagpaiwan, nagpaiwan si ordinary cell para well, pagpiesta na mga harmful bacteria. Well, I feel sorry for that. <clears throat> Everyone is scrambling, even. Most especially si NK, si Memory T, at si 1146. And, there, and who is helping cancer cell? Si regulatory T cell. Which, yun talaga ang function of regulatory T cell. Because she still recognizes cancer cell as, as an in, as an in-body cell. So, hindi siya, <clears throat> it doesn't recognize cancer cell as, in, as, as an already malicious cell. So, couldn't tell the difference, all right? Overall, it's a really good episode, okay? I love the way they portrayed um, how how a cancer can become hereditary, all right? The, uh, the way cancer cell um, took out those genes, yung chromosomes that parang ikot ikpay, hilix hilix na ganon, those are your genes, okay? But the, by the way, he, he took them out. I, I assume that he that he wants to rewrite the body's genetic code to his liking. Kasi, okay. Kaya yung, yung mga cancer patients, kaya re, uh, nagpapatingin sa doktor, sa oncologist. Okay? An oncologist is, is, a, uh, is a doctor who specializes in cancer. Okay? Now, your oncologist will ask you, you do you have any uh, any immediate family member who has had cancer. Oh, pag, pag sinabi mong, oh, oh, mm. That's the reason why doctors ask patients kung meron silang family history of cancer. Kasi pwede ninyo nga manahin ito. Alright? You can inherit, uh, you can inherit cancer. Especially kung nasa linya ng family nyo. This is what the episode is imparting to all of us. All right? If a cancer cell is left unchecked, it will metastasize. Kung mag kukuha siya ng innocent cells, gagawin niya cancer cell din yun. Or it can some powerful cancer cells can even rewrite your own genetic code. Okay? Kung hindi ka man magkaroon ng cancer, sigurado yung anak mo ang magkakaroon ng cancer later on in life. Alright? Teka muna. Pace, flow, and plot. Saludo ko sa David Productions. Okay? David Productions, you did a great job. Okay? Now, well, they're not just known now for Jojo. They're also known for Cells at Work. And, wow. This episode is probably the most relatable ep episode of Season 2. Okay? Pace, flow, and plot-wise, galing. You can tell it's you can tell it's the start of a two-part finale. Talagang, you, talagang it's may feels, okay? You got that finale feels. So, Cells at Work second season episode 7. Two thumbs up. No, I can't show the big joke. <laughs> it's the... It's too crowded in here. My table's too crowded, okay? Two thumbs up. When I heard the news that, uh, that Cells at Work Season 2 will only have eight episodes, I thought, Kaya pala, episodes 2, 3, and 4, back-to-back -back cases lahat. Alright? It's the, it's TV Productions way of um, properly, properly shortening a season. Okay, what, what, 
they did it in good taste, okay? David Production did it in good taste kasi episodes 2, 3, and 4, back-to-back cases. The way I see it, those back-to-back cases need not to be long ones eh, kasi dengue, uh, good bacteria, uh, digestive, uh, overall digestive health. So, pwede na you can, tackle, you can tackle that in just 15 minutes. Lalo ng dengue. Okay? Everybody knows how to prevent dengue. So, you don't, you don't need a whole episode for that. Alright? Okay lang. But, um, medyo nalulungkot ako eh. <laughs> I am going to miss Cells at Work Classic. Uh, if, if, um, once the, uh, once the finale, once the finale, uh, once the once the finale airs this week, yeah, I am going to miss it. Because we fans have waited three years for that. Okay. We have waited three years for that. If it weren't for COVID, baka last year na parod na natin yun. Eh. Na parod na natin yun dapat last year. But probably the producers, uh, I, I don't know what they're thinking. Okay, but my theory on it still stands. They shortened season two to give way to either, of course, its spin-off Code Black, which I think which is doing well. And mind you, I also review Code Black. And if you want to, if you want to scare yourself straight into good health, you should watch Code Black. <laughs> it has a better story. It has a more relevant storyline. Now, it's either that or the upcoming movie. I'm not sure. Pero, uh, they probably did it this way or a third, uh, my third theory. It's because of the manga. The manga is about to end. And their final case there is COVID-19. If that arc is going to be converted into an anime, maka, maybe you can make it a whole season. We don't know. See, so much is yet to be <clears throat> so much is yet to be known about COVID-19. So, yeah. Those are my observations. Alright. So again, Cells at Work second season, episode seven. Two thumbs up. A diabolical two thumbs up. Napa diabolical it Cancer Cell ngayon. Alright. Cancer Cell 1 is the uh, the first is the is the is the is the only major arc of season one. But it but it wasn't the finale. Ang finale yata dun was ano eh, uh, Stroke. Stroke yata. Uh, yun ang ano yun, I, 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 I completely forgot it. But so the, it's also a two part finale of season one. <clears throat> so but Let's just wait for the finale, shall we? Let's just finish Cells at Work Season 2 together, guys. Cells at Work Code Black Episode 9. Ganda. Alright, ganda. 11.66 has a point in, alright? When you're working in a toxic environment, you need to pace yourself. Okay. Those are, uh, he, he has wisdom here. He has the wisdom part here. All right, so it's, uh, kumaga, they did not, this, this episode actually did not discuss the condition of athlete's foot fully. It only showed us how athlete's foot starts. Tapos, kulang pa sa white blood cell. So, hindi ganun kabilis remedyohan. Overall, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. Kasi, uh, although it did not discuss uh, athletes for that, uh, for the whole episode, why should you discuss athletes for the whole episode? It, dis- it, uh, it talked about the most important thing when you're uh, when you're dealing with a toxic environment, how to rest. Okay. Well, like my mentor, Pido Aguilar, always said, rest should be your number one priority. There's a, 
he 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 uh, in his in in his uh, in his book he has ten things there that you should prioritize in life. Number one there is rest. That's that's the uh, that's the biggest thing I learned from my mentor. And this episode clearly portrayed it. All right. It doesn't matter how productive you are, but when you're uh, when it's work, when it's uh, when it's business, especially if you're dealing with a toxic environment, rest should be your number one goal. Okay, so this episode, well, uh, if you're if rest is not in your vocabulary, well, I hope this episode. I hope this episode slaps you in the face. All right. So, oh, sorry. Pace, no. Pace, flow, and the plot. No, shut up, All right. Shut up, ako. Kasi it's properly paced. All right. But the flow, ahala ko nga. We're going to. I thought. It, I thought we're going to. I thought we're going to talk about athletes for one whole episode, but. Nope, we don't have to actually. Okay, at this foot, at this foot is actually just a minor condition, so it is not that catastrophic to the body. All right, but it can be a nuisance. Yun ang uh, yun ang ini impart ng episode nato. Okay? At this foot is a nuisance. All right, so it got down to oh, like the episode said, the value of work. Okay. So, magaling flow eh. The transition from uh, the human condition to uh, the physical condition to the emotional condition. You get it, guys? You get it? Okay. Of course, the plot, maganda rin. So, shut up ako. Kaya, so, Sales <laughs> of Work, Cold Black, Episode 9. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up yan. You know what? Leiden Films is now is doing a good job with this anime. Okay? I don't know uh, what the manga looks like because I, I'm not a manga person. Okay? I am not a manga person. So I don't know how the manga looks like, but I don't want to I don't want to compare I don't want to compare the anime to that either. See, those are two different those are two different sets of storytelling rules. But they are telling the same story. So they should not be compared. Alright? You compare animes with mangas, you're a fucking normie. Okay? You do not know what you're talking about. Mahadada ka lang. Mahadada ka lang. But anyway, let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back to why I gave it the two thumbs up. Well, mainly because it. Uh, this episode focused on the personal development side of the human body, the emotional side. It's not just all physical, right? It's not just all physical. The, this episode tried to impart to us that whether we work in a toxic environment or not, rest is valuable. Rest is worth its weight in gold. You have to you have to accept that fact. It pays not to be a workaholic sometimes. Right? We Filipinos have a saying. All work and no play makes one a dull boy. Hmm? Right? So this episode is the embodiment of that. It's the embodiment of that saying. That's why I gave it. So again, Cells at Work, Cold Black, Episode 9. Two thumbs up. A. Add a nod to that, two thumbs up. Say, I'm gonna tell again. So, well, next episode has been teasered. Well, um, I, don't want to, I don't want to get into the details or speculate on it. All we have to do now is wait for it and watch it because well uh, this anime's mother series is about to end this week 
All the more reason we should now enjoy Code Black even. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 6. Wow! Galing! Talk about a prison break! Grabe si Chrome dito. He showed us a, uh, a side of him that uh, probably, has never, probably has never been seen in the anime. Alright? Iba yung gulang niya rito po, tarangis! Iba yung gulang niya! Grabe! Final scene. Yep. He gets reunited with the camp and, well, told his science secrets. And, well, the, uh, the Tsukasa camp now has a new ally, si Yo. Who he low blowed. <laughs> you know what? That's the, um, the, you, you can call it the low blow from hell. <laughs> Funniest. Low blow I have ever seen this year. <laughs> and it was extremely satisfying because kalaban si yo. <laughs> Overall, it's one good episode. It's, it, it's a really good episode. Grabe. You base the. Base, understandable, because Chrome is thoroughly thinking it over on how to do with it. Okay? On how to do it. Say na, ano eh, uh, ano ito? Kinot biscuit, kumbaga, kinot biscuit sa kanya lahat ng gamit niya eh. Alright, so he only has his brain to to help him out. Alright, yung flow, wow, okay, very smooth. No, not, uh, wala, wala na exact kung calm you eh. But siguro yung pinaka calm you dito, yung pinaka, pinaka ganon ng episode is the low blow. <laughs> The low blow delivered by by Chrome to you. <laughs> yun na yun na pinaka ambu rito eh. Talaga, the, talagang pinakita ni Chrome kung ganon siya agulang dito. <laughs> pinakita talaga ni Chrome yung gulang niya rito. And of course the plot, wow, right? Um, the producers, the producers were right in in titling this episode Prison Break. Talagang it reminded me of that TV show. Reminded me of that TV show. Pero, mas, ano siya, uh, uh, what you call this? Uh, mas anime ang dating ng Prison Break. Alright? Dami, dami episode. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, episode 6. Two thumbs up. Alright, two thumbs up. You know what? Ah, uh, teka. Uy, malapit na. So, Next week, we'll be counting down the final five episodes of, uh, of this season of Dr. Stone. Okay. I cannot wait as to how, how Tsukasa will react to this. Alright? So, what? Uh, Chrome will now serve as the advance information. Okay? Because he's already dead. So, he has, a pretty good, he has a pretty good look and feel of what of, uh, of Chukasa's fortress, of, of, what, uh, of what the Kingdom of Might looks like up close and personal. He saw it up close and personal. And, uh, yeah. Maybe that, maybe the final five episodes will now revolve around what, around what Chrome has learned from, uh, from the Kingdom of Science. Okay? Magandang ano tayo, magandang launch pad. This episode uh, sets probably set that up eh, for the final five episodes of season two. We're gonna have, we'll probably go, we'll probably have a slam bang finale. We will probably have a slam bang finale. Okay, right? DMS Entertainment has done it again. All right. <clears throat> Let me fill you in on some fact. Let me give you some fact a factoid about DMS. Now, these are the same animators behind. Lupin the Third. Yeah, yung ah uh, yung dating ni. If someone has that that Lupin the Third feels yung animation, talaga kana tamo TMS ang gumawa. Eh. TMS entertainment. So yeah. Uh, wow. 
KMS Entertainment, my hats off to you guys. Not just for giving, not just for giving us Lupin the Third, also Doctor Stone. So, galing, saludo ako sa inyo. So again, Doctor Stone, Stone Wars Episode Six. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. So wow, ano tum tinay? Ano tum tum tinisir na title? I'm, I'm a bit curious, okay? <clears throat> Probably um, Senku will Senku will hold true will hold true to his promise that this war is going to be won not by bloodshed but by science. So we're gonna see. The, we're, next week we're going to see the we're going to stop watching the final five episodes of this run by Doctor Stone. So I can't wait. Just can't wait. Higurashi 2020 episode 20. Satoko becomes the, the object of, well, uh, what you call this? She became, so to speak, the bane of St. Lucia's existence. Alright? Pero pa lang ganung kulungan ng iskwela hangyon. Wow. You know, human rights violation. Alright? That's a human rights violation. Okay. If you ask me. I could not describe um, the impact this episode has has on me right now because I just uh, I just reviewed it. But the final scene, okay, final scene, right? Looks like she is now under Oyashiro's curse. Hindi na Rika. right? Overall, it's a good episode. If, well, we're now down to the final five episodes of uh, uh, of the reboot, so yeah, it, it's a good it's a good way to tell it's a good way to tell viewers that yep, Higurashi 2020 is ending. You might as well watch it, okay? You pace, yeah, it's medio. It's a little bit slow for even for Higurashi standards, but. Uh, yung flow yung biglang kumambong, biglang kumam yung ganon. Wow. I never thought Satoko would now be the object of Oyashiro Sama's curse. Okay. Dati si Riga, di ba? Eh, it's been three years. It's been, it's been four. four years. Okay. Mula nung natanggal yung mula nung natanggal yung supake ni Rika. Now, Satoko has it. <laughs> <clears throat> and well, and um, adding this to the current dilemma she has at Saint Lucia, yung ang hirap niya mag-adjust. Okay, she well, she pulled a uh, she pulled a not so funny prank. May nasaktan. All right, that's why she was detained there. Hindi man tama yung kalung kalung kasi detention na subat alam niya ni kukulong mo ng but that's that's just my opinion. But yung yung plot, I love how it uh, how the plot progressed. Hindi pa rin nakakalimutan ng animators that that this is Higurashi, one of the most disturbing animes ever. Yung original lang, yung original. So they haven't forgotten about that. That's good. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. I am so excited as how this, how this, uh, how the reboot is going to end. Okay. I can't wait to start the original series. I cannot wait to start the original series because of this. So, Higurashi 2020, episode 20. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Bakit? Kasi Higurashi's take on on slice of life is well a bit a bit disturbing okay kasi uh, the the prank Satoko pulled here na na may nasaktan okay but uh, it's obvious hindi na gusto ni Riga yon okay? Riga did not like it a bit pero hindi naman siya yung nagsumbong eh, sa sa isang teacher i love Higurashi's take on uh, on slice of life right kumbaga it's not all cute it's not all cute girls doing cute things 
uh, that kind of stop it. Talagang Satoko did something wrong, she got punished. But in typical Higurashi fashion, in a sunk and in a um, tolerably disturbing way. Although, although slice of life is yung, although slice of life is yung episode na to, you, if you're into, if you're, if you're bordering on the conservative, you may find this disturbing already. Yung pagkakulong kay yung pagkakakulong kay Satoko as punishment for her actions. Alright? You may find it disturbing already. But, the most disturbing uh, part of this episode is the final scene. It's the final scene that, uh, that's really disturbing. So again, Hikurashi 2020, episode 20. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, which... So... The dog wants to review Higurashi. The dog, the dog's, the dog got scared of Higurashi as well. But anyway, title has been teasered. Remember, guys, it is now the final five episodes of the reboot. If you haven't watched it, I strongly suggest you start watching. I strongly suggest you binge watch the first twenty episodes. Hey, and dami yung habulin. And dami yung habulin. So, well, see you next week for the next episode. The Promised Neverland second season episode 6. Yep, it is normal. <laughs> Norman reveals his plan to, to Emma and the rest of the kids. Nakakarong ngayon tuloy ng moral dilemma si Emma. Final scene. Norman knows Mujika. Ooh, you see that? You, 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 did you see that creepy look in it on his face and nakagamit siya? Mukhang... Uh, mukhang he had a bad experience with Mujika. Mm. Sounds intriguing, okay? Sounds... Disturbing, all right. Overall, it's a good episode. Okay, the yung pace medyo mabagal. Understandable. Yung flow biglang biglang twist na ganon. Uh, well, Norman has a bad experience uh, concerning Mujika. Tapos yung plot, yeah, carry over from. Carry over from the last episode. Carry over from one and a half episodes ago. Because uh, the last one was a recap. Okay. And well, grabe, twist na yun. Mag- magkakakilala pa na ito mga ito eh. Alright? I think Norman went through, uh, went through a more terrible, had a more terrible time uh, during his supposed death. Kasi inasyong yata agad nila Emma na kakatayin na siya. Alright? So, what we don't turn kakatayin. Kasi, eh, you got to remember, okay? These children were farmed okay? para kainin ng mga demonyo. Alright? They were farmed. So, automatic, syempre, if you're farmed, you're supposed to be eaten. Alright? Ganda nga eh. Maganda yung plot. Plot. But, kung nag-concentrate sila sa those, uh, those two, I think two or four missing years na hindi sinabi sa anime, I think it would have a clearer picture now. But, the animators didn't do that. Maybe, but like I, like I said in the last review, they, were, they are probably reserving those two arts for either an OVA or a movie. Or maybe we will maybe we will get um, get glimpses of that in later episodes. We don't know. So the Promise Neverland second season episode six. One thumb up. Because why one thumb up? Bitin, right? Because of 
uh, because of the producers deliberately skipping uh, skipping the mangas uh, the mangas two biggest arcs supposedly I, I, I don't read manga so I, I don't I'm, I'm honest I'm being honest with you Makalaista Twitch I don't read mangas okay, I don't read mangas talagang anime only guy ako so uh, I got no idea so they say uh, they say that the producers deliberately skip on uh, on the manga's two biggest arcs yung dalawang pinakamaganda raw we have no idea on how uh, on how Norman met Mujika, Sonju and Mujika, okay. and we are clueless right now as to what uh, what went down, okay. what went down between those two. Okay. So major but uh, this episode is good enough for it's no, this episode doesn't deserve a lower rating. Okay, a lot was. Uh, a lot, was, a lot was processed by my brain, okay? A lot was processed. Yeah, that can happen because remember guys, she's just a kid, okay? Emma is just a child, okay? Natural. Okay? Mabilis, mabilis pa sa alas 4 ang mararamdaman niya moral dilemma rito. Okay? So it's quite understandable. So it deserves a high rating. So again, the Promised Neverland second season episode six. Wantama. Wantama. So let's just wait for the next episode and the final five episodes of season two will start next week. So are you excited, Twitch? Are you excited, my lifestyle? I am. Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. Wow! <laughs> Grabe! See, what is that? What's that spirit's name? Yon, si Hanami. The first spirit's name is Hanami. So, wow, okay. Words cannot. Uh, words. I'm basically out of words to, to describe the fight scenes in this episode, okay? So basically, well, they were softening Hanami up until Itadori and Todo show up. Boom! That, that's when, that's when, that's when it became a war zone. Final scene! Well, um, let's call this. Hanami is actually enjoying this fight. Alright? So, and... Lo and behold, Todo announces that he's going to use his secret technique. Ano kaya yun? Yung, yung lakas niyang yun, hindi pa Todo? Kaya nga Todo pangalan ni. Overall, it is one hell of an episode. Grabe. You know, I don't know how... Uh, how Itadori um, developed his black flash, the black flash move. But one thing's guaranteed, it was uh, Todo helped him out. And Todo helped him out, sort of a sort, sort as a uh, mentor to him. Okay? Yung kaya yung pace, yung flow, yung plot, yung, yung, well, yung plot carry over from the last two episodes actually. Carry over from the last two episodes, but your pace, it's been fast, but justifiably fast from, from the get go. Yung flow ang ganda, alright? Bigla bigla ang entrada sila todo ni Tadori. Just to, just to take Hanami out. Grabe, grabe entrance. <laughs> grabe entrance nila. It's another uh, splendidly done episode, especially the fight scenes. Grabe. Jujutsu Kaisen is starting to look bet it's starting to look better now than God of High School. Okay. It's starting to look better na. Mas pino yung fight scenes at saka mas mas nakahabol mo ng mata mo eh. Mas nakahabol mo. Okay. 
Wow, it, it is one awesome episode. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Two thumbs up, okay? Two thumbs up. You know what? Uh, like I said a while ago, that Jujutsu Kaisen, I said it in the, uh, I said it on Twitch. Jujutsu Kaisen is turning out to be better than God of High School. Okay? Now, at first I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to get carried away by the hype. So I had to thoroughly read its synopsis when, uh, when it was announced for, for fall 2020. I thought, yeah, maybe I should give this, maybe I should give this anime a chance. Hindi naman ordinary yung pagka-supernatural niya. So, so I took it on. And first few episodes, I thought, yep, the hype is real. The hype is real. And, parang wala, parang wala nang, tawag dito. Parang hindi na pinag-uusapan ngayon ng JJK eh. Don't you think, guys? Don't you think, Twitch? I haven't, um, uh, I haven't heard the slightest from any uh, from any other anime fan that this is uh, that uh, that they are actually watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Ano yun? Nagiging under, nagiging uh, book. Ah, I got no problem with it. I got no problem with it if it uh, if it loses the hype. Uh, if it loses steam. If it loses steam popularity wise, but story wise, it shouldn't. Because it, it is a good story. It has a good storyline. And there are there are little there are there are little life lessons to, to learn from. And most of all, of course, the fight scenes. Alright? It has maybe I can say it now. It has surpassed God of High School when it comes to the fight scenes. Mapa did a better job here than than God of High School. Alright? Aspino in fight scenes here. But it's but it's not the main reason why I gave it the two thumbs up. The reason why I gave it is well magade the pace, the flow and the pace and the flow talagang suave. Malinis. Malinis yung pagka uh, pagka timing eh. Malinis yung timing sa flow, malinis yun yung pace. Well, they are being they are being attacked. The action is justifiably fast-paced. Alright? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 19. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Okay. The final five episodes. Well, should, yeah, I should say the road to the finale will start this week. Okay? It will start this week. Say, well, this is the week uh, that will start episode 28. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang Jujutsu Kaisen, or you've been too, you've been too caught up with those new romantic animes or whatever the, whatever bullshit, whatever bullshit you've been watching. Look, get back into Jujutsu Kaisen and finish it. It's already the final five episodes after this. Kaya, tutok na. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7th episode 37. Wow. All right. Probably one of the funniest pools I have ever seen. Okay. And it involves none other than Luke. <laughs> okay. This is also the first time I've seen a... Uh, first time in a long time actually. I've seen a man versus animal duel. Uh, the last time I saw that was in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Okay. Remember the... Uh, well, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, you remember that duel between uh, between the Jude and the uh, and the monkey, the kumidnap ke kumidnap ke Aska, the super talino na monkey. Yo, yun na. That was probably the first man versus animal duel, and lo and behold, we got another one. <laughs> we got another one. 
okay? And wow, it was, it was fantastic, okay? Grabe. Final scene, okay? Final scene. Well, the losers, uh, should we say, drown in their own pity? <laughs> Eh, medyo creepy kasi may mga mga, may, may, may mga may mga little angels pa lumabas. Ano to? Dead scene? Okay? Well, this is a virtual dead scene? Grabe. Overall, yep, it's one of the funniest episodes of this, uh, of this series. It's one of the funniest, okay? <clears throat> Especially the duel which started off the bat. Okay. The pace, the flow, the plot, well, it all, uh, it all depended on, it all uh, depended on the duel itself. Kaya, well, it was, it was really funny to <laughs> yeah. uh, The way Luke succumbed to his weakness of uh, probably his, probably his hate for traps, okay? Ito na pansin ko kay Luke sa, sa dueling style niya eh. He rarely employs traps. He rarely uses traps in his trap cards in his deck. Mihira, kaya ba ako? Kaya ako pa sa huling ano? Kaya ba natin sa huling nakita gumamit ng trap card? Uh, probably 20 episodes ago. Parang ganon eh. Di ra sa talaga gumamit ng trap eh. Gumamit ng trap card. Pero itong kalaban niya, who's a who's a pigeon? Wow! Namungukat ka sa trap ang deck. Alright? Uh, parang virtual at deck. Virtual trap tricks deck eh. Yung ginamit. Pero uh, it's all wing piece. But he was able to win. He was able to gather himself. And well, uh, with some words of encouragement from Yuga, he was able to enjoy the traps and beat his opponent's ass. <laughs> Grabe. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 37. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, guys. <laughs> like I said, it's the first, uh, probably the first man versus animal duel I've seen in a long time. First, first, uh, first duel of such nature since Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Okay? Pano pa ng GX yung nakakita ko ng ano eh. Nakakita ko ng man versus animal duel. So, yeah. There's a bit of fan service there. From, uh, from Studio Bridge. Okay. There's, a bit of fan, there's a bit of fan service there. And, wow. Okay. Um, what more can I say about this episode? It's, it was really funny. <laughs> and it deserves the two thumbs up. Alright. So again. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 37. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up to it. Pero, wag nyo ka. Next episode, tinisir na. This is the duo we've all been waiting for since this major arc started. Okay. So, will it be, um, will it be revenge, will it be revenge time for Ruga? We'll have to find out. Okay. We will have to find out when we watch that next episode. King's Raid episode 21. You know what? Um, this is probably the most tense episode of this anime. Okay? Well, bottom line, there is no false sword. Okay? But, um, well, it's been confirmed, all right? It is now confirmed. Uh, the circumstances surrounding, uh, surrounding King Kyle's return, all right? Now we know kung bakit siya ang lumabas sa, sa dimensional rift na yun. We now know. And Maldo, Maldo instantly gets it. Maldo instantly gets it. Final scene. Well, we've all seen it. Kassad uh, and company, and of course, Pavel, they're headed out for the... They're, uh, they're probably just a stone's throw away from the world tree. They're almost there. Overall, 
it is a really good episode. Well, yung pace, <clears throat> medyo mabagal, but hey, you're building up to the final five episodes. You should take it easy, alright? Uh, after uh, after after this episode, it's all downhill, so you better take it easy, okay? The flow, yeah, well, <clears throat> more than midway through, more, more than with, more than midway through the episode, we re realized it. There is no, there's no false start. <clears throat> Pero inexplain din sa kanya ni Dominic kung bakit eh. Inexplain din sa kanya. And now he, he's just reaffirmed his uh, his alliance with uh, with the princess. Okay. I forgot her name. <laughs> I forgot her name. I forgot the princess's name. Okay. Pero yes, we are from this alliance with the <clears throat> with the princess. Okay. So yah, tinatanong ani, where is the holy sword? Okay. The plot, yep. It's uh, it's quite understandable. Okay. Why the plot is like this. Okay. So it's a really good episode. Okay. It's a really good build up to the final five episodes of this anime. So, King's Raid episode twenty one. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, I am going to say again why. This is the most the most tense episode of this anime. Kasi, well, we hit uh, after 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 finding out that there is no false sword. Kasi binasa niya yung notes ni Ilya. Binasa niya yung notes ni Ilya and he was quite pissed off. <clears throat> that there is no false sword. So, he goes after Dominix and demands an explanation. Ito pala ang tense moment na eh. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what, what Dominix is going to do to him. He is the, he is the, he is the great sage after all. Kaya, how, sky's the limit ang magic sa kanya. Sky's the limit. So, <clears throat> while all of this was going on, okay, while all of this was going on, of course, Castle, Castle and company are headed out to the World Tree para iansil na ang Holy Sword. Para tuluyan ang iansil ng Holy Sword. Pero, binili sa kanya ni Pavel, under any circumstances, do not use the power of the Holy Sword. Kasi, well, we all know that after, that every time they unseal, every time they unlock a seal, Castle gains a certain power of the Holy Sword. He gains a certain power. Okay. He's becoming more invincible as um, as it's being unlocked. You know, you know, na you know, you know, you know, na figure out kuri eh. Each time he unlocks, they unlock a seal. Castle becomes more invincible. So <clears throat> the moment he uses that power, madi detect ni Maldo or worse ni Angmun. So they have to, they have to be careful. So until uh, until the Holy Sword is totally un totally unsealed, he cannot use that power. He cannot use that. So yeah, you palang mati mati tense kali. Pano lala pansi kasin kung hindi niya gagamitin ang kapangyarihan ng Holy Sword? Eh lalakas na kalaban eh si Maldo palang disco. <clears throat> if it weren't for um, the second un the unlocking of the second seal, hindi yun eh. Uh, that was in episode uh, I think that was in episode 9 Hindi Tawag dito Hindi niya Tawag dito Hindi matatakot na ganun lang si Maldok sa kanya eh. Alright He almost did Maldok in in that episode Baka naala Baka hindi nyo Baka nakakalimutan yun <laughs> Okay Munting na niya pakain si Maldok doon He was that close He was that close to murdering the Murdering the guy Okay? He was that close to taking his head off. So, yeah. No pa lang tense moment eh. Kaya, for me, this is the most tense episode of the entire anime. <clears throat> so far. <laughs> we're, we're now down to the final five episodes, folks. And it starts, and it starts this week. The final five episodes starts this week. So again, King's Raid, episode 21. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two 
comes out to it. So, we've seen the teaser for, well, the road to the finale has officially begun kasi tinaser na yung next episode eh. So, kung hindi nyo pa natututukan ng King's Ray Twitch, mga lifestyle tutukan nyo na. Alright? I assure you, okay, this is my personal assurance to you guys, King's Raid has been getting better by the episode since uh, since the second half of its run. So, well, to totally miss out on this anime is a big mistake. Yashahime episode 20. It's quite a discovery episode. Why do I call it a discovery episode? Because finally, finally, Setsuna opens up. And well, she, she's, she, she's got quite a giggle, alright? <laughs> she has a really cute giggle. But, um, yeah, told her backstory and everything. Um, it wasn't boring. It wasn't boring. Ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko sa inyo. And well, in case you haven't noticed, the road to the finale has begun. Uh, in quite a, uh, quite the, quite the unconventional way. Right? So final scene. Well, we we just found out that Setsuna uh, has a little side hustle, protecting the village that nurtured her uh, during the during, during those six hidden years. So from time to time, pag uh, pag wala ginagawa, she returns to. She returns to the entrance of that village just to guard it. And well, in this episode, she takes out two lowly demons. Alright? So, kumaga, kumaga, tumatalo siya ng, tumatalo siya ng utang na loob. Okay? Kishiori. Uh, the one that, uh, the one that protected her all those years ago. Shiori actually is the, uh, I forgot the name of her mother. Eh. Kakabi siya ng Inuyasha. Kakabi, I, I think I've seen her in, um, I think, season 4? Parang ganun. Season 4, season 5. Parang ganun. Overall, it's a good episode. It's a really good episode. <clears throat> the pace, well, yung pace, medyo, medyo mabilis kasi backstory ni sets na ito. And the flow, of course. Yung, well, yung, yung flow, Smooth lang, walang mabigat na cambio. And of course, the plot, backstory time. Pero wag nyo, this is an important backstory kasi kay Setsu na mismo ito. For the first time in this entire run, in this entire anime, she has opened up to, well, to none other than her twin sister, si Towa. And kung nga pala, no? No Moroha in this episode. <laughs> no Moroha in this episode. Uh, anyway, kasi bonding moment ng kambal ito eh. So, why, why have Moroha? Uh, why have Moroha and her antics spoil it? Okay? Why have Moroha and her antics spoil it? Alright? So, Yashahime episode 20. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I'll tell you why. Because number one reason ko, Setsuna finally opens up. Okay? And, well, the only logical person, the only, well, the only logical thing for her to do is to open up to, open up to her twin sister. Siyempre. Okay? Immediate relative. Towa is the only living relative, the only, uh, to call this the only immediate relative she has right now. I don't know if I'm open up chaki sa shumano sa tatay niya. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be disturbing. <laughs> that would be disturbing. Alright? That, that heartless son of a bitch having a heartless son of a bitch for a father. <clears throat> In real life, no kid would open up to such a father. So, yeah. Toa is the only immediate relative she has right now. Eh si, si Moroha naman, pinsang buo lang eh. Ito si Toa, kapatid niya eh. Twin sister niya. So, makes sense. 
it makes sense. Number and number two, of course, what? Moroha isn't around to spoil all, to spoil the uh, to spoil the moments in this episode. All right. Again, why? Again, why would you have Moroha and her antics here in this episode? All right. She would she would act as the spoiler. But anyway, we all love Moroha because she is the daughter of Inuyasha. She is the daughter of Inuyasha. But in this episode, Deka, let's have the twins. Let, let's put the twins in their moment. Okay. Now, the animators were in good judgment here. Okay. Let's have the twins. Let's, let's put the twins in their moment and let Sesuna tell her her entire backstory. Which is really good. Okay. Finally, she opens up. And it took... Uh, and it took... <laughs> And it took 20 episodes for her to open up, but you gotta understand, I say. Maraming na nangyari sa buhay niya, <clears throat> and uh, she's, she's that worried and trusting her old twin sister. Right? Yeah, it's understandable. So, this episode deserves the two thumbs up, I say. It's a pivotal moment in this, it's a pivotal moment in this anime. It's a pivotal moment in the spin-off. I say, well, Setsuna finally opens up. Bottom line. So again, Yashahime episode 20. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Uh, next episode has been teasered. Okay. Ano ito? Okay. Ano ito? <laughs> I don't want to fill you in on the details because I am assuming that you've already seen you've seen this episode. You've already seen episode 20. So let's just leave it to that. Let's just watch it. Okay. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 11. Wow. No battle scenes again, but... Ooh. The air is so dense you can even cut it with a knife. Alright? The air is so dense. It has that it has that dense environment again. Alright? Yeah. Grabe. Grabe yung ano? Grabe pa yung galit ni Gabi ano? Sa, sa mga Eldian? Sa mga taga-paradis. Para, she is more than willing to kill one. She is more than willing to kill any one of them. Kahit siguro bata. Kahit siguro pastit, papatayin niya. Basta el, basta... Basta, basta tika paradis. Final scene. Right. Um, well, all I can say is, about the final scene, Reiner is now pushing for, for, for an immediate offensive. Right? Let's... Oh, face it, Weiner. You got humiliated by Eren. <laughs> Overall, it's a damn good episode. Okay, proof again that you do you don't have to. Uh, well, sometimes you don't have to incorporate battle or fight scenes to uh, to impart how tense the tense uh, the situation in an anime is. Okay. Yung pace, medyo slow. Okay, it's um, yeah, it's just it's justified, right? We're, we're they're not going into battle as of yet. We're, they're not going into battle like 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 now. Nope. Yung flow, mhm. Mm yung biglang kumam yung ganon sa meeting nila Reiner ng no, no mga ng no mga remaining Titans. They eventually found out that uh, well, Zeke stages, staged his own death. Right? So, okay. That now brands him as a traitor to Morty. So, maganda eh. Maganda yung naging, maganda yung naging cambio eh. Maganda yung naging cambio rito eh. And of course, the plot, well, of course, Gabby and Falco escaped from prison. They don't know where to go to. But Gabby still she is still uh, she's still going psycho about the fact that she's in an island full of devils 
and she's more than willing to kill any one of them. Ooh, okay. Yung, yung, that look in her, that look in her eyes, yung, 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 yung minsan eh, pagkakatitig niya sa mga, sa isang pamilya ni na, the family that took, took them in, talagang, murderous intent eh. Murderous intent. Okay, right there, sa mata niya. Grabe. Her, uh, her unfounded anger towards, uh, towards paradise, it knows no bounds. It knows no bounds. But, but thank God for Falco, okay? who, is, uh, who is obviously the more sane one, okay? who is, uh, who's, uh, who's the thinker now amongst the two. So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 11, Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Bakit? What? Like I said a while ago, the air in this episode is so thick, you can actually cut it with a knife. Ganong katens yung, uh, yung dating ng episode na to. Alright? <clears throat> it was, yeah, okay. It's, it's more, it was more tense than the last episode. Okay? We we saw how psychotic Gabby can be and to think she's just only 11 years old. Okay? She has that uh she has that uh what you call that that Higurashi look in her eyes every time she sees uh, every time she sees a um, a Paradis Eldian. Alright? Pakendama parang para ko nanonodo Higurashi nito eh. An 11 year old girl looking, looking, looking at someone like that. Parang, para, parang gusto, gusto na pumatay. <laughs> parang gusto na pumatay. Ganun, eh. I, I got that Higurashi feels during, uh, when, I, when I was watching this episode. Grabe. I mean, grab, Gabby is that psycho when it comes to the Paradise, LB, the Paradise LBIs. When it comes to Paradise in general. Right? She has been totally mind conditioned to hate them. Alright? It's a consequence of war. Okay? The episode is imparting to us again. Okay? The, uh, Attack on Titan is, is imparting to us again that war is ugly. So again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Well, uh, the title for the next episode has been teasered. It's now official. We are now going into the final five episodes of the Attack on Titan anime. The road to the series finale is about to begin. So, well, Attack on Titan has been trending as of late in a more positive way. So. People are more getting hyped up uh, as to the ending of this anime, right? The manga, I think, has has already ended, right? Kaya nga nila binigyan ng final season ng anime. So, if you're still... <laughs> if, you're, if you're still missing out on this anime because of, uh, because of such trash like we do up here or even jobless reincarnation, <laughs> I strongly suggest you start watching it. You start watching the first 11 episodes of final season or even the movie Attack on Titan Chronicle to fully understand what's about to happen in the final five episodes of this anime. X Arm Episode 7. I thought this is going to be a boring episode, all right? But uh, the revelations that the revelations that uh, that comprise the final scene, wow, grave! The family reunion uh, that didn't do that didn't turn out so well, and well, we now know who the real enemy is, but. It's not, the, it's not the one being guarded by Akira and company. Nope. So final scene. 
Beta finally shows himself. The real Beta. Grabe. So, kumulo na naman ang dugo ni Akira. So to speak, okay? Kumulo nga ne. Let's just rephrase that. Kumulo ang circuits ni Akira. So to speak. Overall, I almost counted this episode now, alright? Then, uh, it picked up the pace midway. Then the flow big lang. Kumambyo ng dalawang beses, alright? First time, well, Alma, Alma, Alma reappears, but sides with the enemy. And number two, of course, Beta shows himself. Right? Dalawang, dalawang beses kumambyo. Okay? And, yung plot, well, it's a, I guess, I guess X-Arm is becoming a, uh, I guess that's becoming X-Arm's, this anime's specialty. Right? Very slow starts, then midway through, midway to, or even two-thirds of the episode, boom! The action, the action, or the storyline picks up. The X arms becoming good at it, alright? Count the animation out, okay? Let's leave it that. Okay? Ignore the animation, concentrate on the, concentrate on the storyline. X arm is really getting better than it than it was during the first half. Okay? So X arm episode 7. Two thumbs up. Ala nyo ano? Two thumbs up. Well, why? Well, basically, okay? Kasi si Akira, ano na, parang drone. Parang, parang drone lang eh. Drone type lang yung body niya eh. I guess, uh, I guess the, I guess the police are limiting him to that. Kasi baka ako na pang, baka ako na pang gawin niya if they gave him a real body. Like in the case of Ogre, episode 4. Episode 4, tandaan niya. Natandaan nyo ba yun? Eh, episode, uh, episode 3 or 4. Yan. Episode 3 or 4. When he went devil mode with Ogre, now we know. Okay, bakit hanggang, hanggang, hanggang sa ganong body lang siya. Alright? So, I almost counted this episode out. I almost counted this episode out. Then, midway through the episode, Minami's backstory gets some um, validation. Siyempre, si, si, Al, si Aljarde, uh, may kinalaman pala doon. But, may kinalaman nga siya doon. But he saved Minami's brother. So, kumbaga, inadapt niya, inampon niya, and uh, nursed, nursed him back to health. Well, I don't, know, I don't know if you can call that nursing back to health kasi utak na lang ang natiri. Battle lines have been drawn. Then all of a sudden, Beta appears. Like I said a while ago. Kumulo na naman ang circuits ni Akira. Because well, if you know the way the way he sees it, Beta is the, the root cause of it all. That's why he's a, that's why he's just a brain now. That's why uh, uh, Soma is up for revenge. That's why everything That's why he's blamed for the Tokyo attack. Alright? He's being he's being blamed for the Tokyo attack. Pero in reality, baka si Beta yun eh. We may know in the final four episodes. And then, we may know in yeah, in the final five episodes. Oh, yeah, eight, nine, ten, ten. Ooh! Next week. So start now. So again, <laughs> X-Arm episode 7. Two thumbs up. Right? A an, oh, I almost counted it out. Two thumbs up. Ganun eh, ganun ang grabe. So, next episode. The final five episodes will of uh, well, let me repeat that. The final five episodes of X Arm shall commence. Right? So all we have to do is, well, as we Filipinos say, tuto na. True Cooking Master Boy Second Season, Episode 7. I am so excited because, wow, alright? Muntik na rito si Mao. Muntik na siya rito. If it weren't for Lan Fei Hong, yung, his, uh, his main rival, 
Hindi niya marirealize na sinisepat na pala siya ng cooking underworld. Right? So, I guess, yeah, the reboot is actually following the, I think, either the visual novel or the manga. Uh, I'm not sure. Pero, hindi ko talaga matandaan ang arc na to eh, sa original series. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't remember the, I couldn't remember this from the original series. Eh. But, wow, okay. I told you, I'm going to watch this like, like, I, like I've never watched this before from the original. Yep. <laughs> the experience, well, I had that, uh, I had that, uh, what's called this? It made me hungry. <laughs> it made me hungry. Final scene. Well, Bailey is, Mao wins the contest, but uh, Suki is blabbering, like, uh, na sinet up siya, or ano, uh, whatever, whatever, bullshit. Well, he's just, he's just talking bullshit. So, <clears throat> Faye interferes, suggests a rematch. Tapos yung governor na, pero yung governor na magja-judge. Mao agrees. His final words were, I won't show you mercy. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's why Lu Mao Zing is one of my favorite anime characters, all right? That, this is the reason why he's one of my favorite anime characters now. One of my favorite lead pro tags. Galing. Overall, it's an awesome episode, all right? Yung pace, medyo, yeah, okay lang. Okay lang yung bilis kasi they had to, uh, uh, what you call this? They had to emphasize that Mao literally threw, literally threw the contest, okay? He threw the fight. Then, Faye comes to his, Faye comes to his rescue, realizes his work, comes back, and, and he found, he finds out that May chose him as the winner. Okay lang. Yung flow, Oy, yung, yung salt na camp yung ganon, medyo, mal, medyo malaki na yung dating eh. Because, Mao agreed to the rematch when, well, like he said in the, like he said in the episode, I won't show mercy. <laughs> Ngayon, kasi alam, alam na niya eh, nabiso na niyang, uh, nabiso na niya na si Zuki is one of the Cooking Underworld's Five Tiger Stars. Kung baka pinadala ng Cooking Underworld siya para sirain talaga si Mao. That, that, that's his mission. So yun, na-realize ni, ni Mao. Narin yun. After realizing that he's a member of the, he's, he's one of the five Tiger Stars, I bet you in the next episode, he won't show any mercy. Basta Cooking Underworld, dalawa, dalawa lang ang mangyayari kay Mao. Eh. Umi, umiinit ang dugo niya, at sumasarap ang kanyang luto. <laughs> so, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 7. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Uh, I've, been, I've been telling you guys this since last week, okay? I don't remember this arc from the original series. So, in likelihood, uh, production IG is following either the visual novel or the manga itself. Alright? Yung, uh, yung original na Cookie Master Boy, yeah, I really don't remember, I really don't remember this art. Okay? Suki is, Suki is a, uh, is a new character to me. Alright? Pero, hindi nagpakita ng angas dun sa original series si Mao. Okay? Only here in the reboot. So, he's now one of my favorite lead pro tags, alright? Talagang ganda. Maganda yung pagkaka, pagkaka-reboot ng Production IG dito, right? Production IG, hats off to you guys, okay? For, yeah, for effect, for over-delivering on, on this reboot of a classic anime. Galing. It's the second half of the run, so we're now into the home stretch. We're now into the home stretch of this of this reboot. So, kung ganito ang build up, wow, all right? Eight, nine, ten, nine. Uy, we're now going into the final five episodes. So, magandang, this is a good setup for uh, for the road to the finale. Okay? So again, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode seven. 
two thumbs up. Hey, two thumbs up, Twitch. So, what should I say? What's going to happen in the next episode? Of course, it's a rematch. Let's see what Mal does this time. The Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, Episode 7. Ang angas ni King! <laughs> Ang angas ni King! Walang ya! We all, well, if you're a Seven Deadly Sins fan, you, you're, you're probably familiar with um, with all of King's eight forms. Yung Chasty Fall, yung, yung Spirit Spear niya, it has eight forms. Lahat ng eight forms na yun, this episode, uh, it got 10x. Okay? Its power got increased 10 times kasi nag-evolve siya. Well, gating ano eh. Uh, wow. Right? All the twists and what and the click moment. Alright? Wow. I, I, gotta, I gotta do a special mention on this. King uh, changes to a changes to a wedding tuxedo. Well, you know what that means. He wants to marry Diane. Bago nga naman magkaleche-leche pa eh. Baka magkamatagan pa, di ba? He's got a point there. Final scene. Well, we're back in Purgatory. Wild, all of a sudden, charges to the Demon King. Papakamatay ba yan? Gusto niya maging lechon? Baka gawin siyang sisig nun. Overall, that was, it. that was good. Overall, it's an awesome episode. Okay? Um, it, yung pace medyo, um, the pace is, um, the pace is well balanced. Okay? Although, nagtatlong, yung tatlong major, uh, what you call this? Uh, what you call this? Settings ng buong season, uh, pinakinte. Of course, the battle, the battle speed, Battlefield, uh, that the battlefield concerning Mael, that was the one in Camelot, yeah, the one in Camelot, yung kasama sila Escanor, and of course, sa Purgatory, so balance yung pace niya, yung flow, yeah, three twists in one episode, tatlo basis ko mambio, I couldn't ask for more, <laughs> I couldn't ask for more. The one in Camelot well, took a uh, took a hideous turn. All right. The plot, yeah, it's great. It's, it's awesome. Okay, the plot was awesome. Because uh, it featured the three settings of the uh, of the uh, of the final season so far in one episode. So, kumbaga, uh, it's a uh, this episode is some sort of a catch up device for those who are uh, who have who are just starting to to watch the seven deadly sins especially yung, uh long time fans na ngayon lang po umpisahan ang final season so yeah it's a, it's a good i think uh yeah yun ang, uh, that's that's what i'm assuming that's what i'm assuming so the plot is the plot is really good okay? the plot is really good so the seven deadly sins dragon's judgment episode 7 Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. All right. What? Ito nga, natawa nga ako eh. All right. I never knew. Uh, then, si Wal talaga ang kuya ni, ni, ni Hawk. All right. When it comes to comic relief. All right. Halos pareho sila ng style. <laughs> Halos pareho sila ng style. Ng comic relief. All right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give Wal that. Pero susunod mo hindi mo hindi mag-isa. Ikaw pa mauna? <laughs> you, you, you want, you want to be, uh, what you call this? You want, you want to, you want to be turned into pork to katsu or something? Ito ba, medyo na, ala pa nga ang ganun eh. But, uh, I think the highlight of this episode was, uh, Mael was able to redeem himself, right? Through, of course, Gauter's help, yung kanyang skill na invasion. Wow, that is, uh, that's a scary skill to have, alright? Kaya nga siya, kaya nga siya, kaya nga siya 7 Deadly Sins eh. Nakakatakot yung skill niyang yun eh, invasion. Ang AP, mag 
tripin ng eksena. Hod! Grabe! Uy, mga Parang, 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 talaga kinakain na si Mael eh. At that moment. But he was able to, he was able to, to expel them and, well, the original Mael is back. So, <clears throat> and he's, uh, well, Elizabeth convinces him to join the fight against the demons to end the whole, to end the holy war once and for all. Right? Now, I wonder how, uh, how Escanor and company will now fare against the first demon. Right? Eh, Chander and Cusack are only two parts of a whole. Alright? They are actually the first demon. Yung, yung unang creation ng demon king, it got so power hungry, the demon king had to do something about it. So, Pilaros gave him a supreme punishment. Splits, splits him into two, Chander and Cusack, and gave it the, gave it the, uh, the enormous task of mentoring his own children. Yun nga, si Meliodas at si Zeldris. Wow! Alright? Now, I don't know what um, what fantasy animes you're, uh, you guys are, you people are, you people are watching right now. Do not miss out on the seven deadly sins! Okay? Do not miss, do not miss this fantasy anime out, alright? It's, Built a reputation. It's built a reputation. Okay. Kumbaga. No, well, it's it's not an easy guy. It's a it's a straight up fantasy anime. Now, whether you agree with me or not, it's one of the best fantasy animes ever. Okay. And to <clears throat> and to have them announce that this will be its final season. Well, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Ingay pa lang. Episode 7 pa lang, umiinit na eh. Umiinit na labanan eh. May umiinit ang bakbakan. So again, The Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, Episode 7? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Well, title of the next episode has been featured. Um, I really love those, those, chibi, those chibi versions of the characters here. <laughs> Nakatawa yung mail eh. <laughs> na chibi. <laughs> Imagine Mael, <clears throat> Mael as a chibi, all right? Imagine you would you would, you would buy Seven Deadly Sins merch with with that with Mael with chibi Mael as a keychain. <laughs> he would look good as a keychain. Pero tutok na tayo next episode, all right? Tutok na lang. Long Horizon 3rd Season, Episode 7. Generally, well, uh, it's much better than the last one because there are fight scenes, alright? Wow. Talking about breaking your own rules to... Uh, to get your Hail Mary moments, alright? To get your Eureka moments. There's a life lesson to be learned in this episode. And I learned something. Anyway, final scene. Well, he finished the story. And well, Shiro is up. Shiro's devilish brain is up to something. Uh, anyway, he's not, he's, not, he's not exactly an evil genius, but he sometimes thinks that way. <laughs> he sometimes thinks that way. Rest assured, <clears throat> it's going to be another adventure for them. All right? But now he is thinking, all right? He is uh, thunking it out, all right? Inside his brain, inside his head. Overall, it's not a great episode, but it's better than the last one, all right? It's better than the, it's better than the last one. It didn't, uh, the pace, well, the pace is fast, okay? The pace is fast for, uh, for a storytelling episode. The flow, yeah, pretty decent. The plot will carry over from the last one, but uh, the flow is a little, the flow is a little bit better because uh, it's the climax of the story. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, all these things make it a uh, 
make it a, make it a good episode. Okay? Better than the last one. Okay? Better than episode 6. So, Long Horizon 3rd Season Episode 7. Mata up. Mata up lang. But, I couldn't give it the two thumbs up because, uh, It's not that um, the plot is not that uh, it's not that much appealing at all, okay? Because carry over siya from uh, carry over siya from the last episode in the plot. But what made up for it was the pace and the flow, okay? So they uh, they picked up the pace and the flow was really good, right? May uh, hindi masadong eh, uh, hindi masadong Ganon yung cambio, right? Because it, it's not, uh, it's just a story. It's just, it's just two two girls telling telling the story of their uh, of a friend in need, right? So that's why it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't deserve the two thumbs up. So just this one, right? And the main reason why I give gave it that is because well. It is better than the last one, right? It is better than the last one. Okay, I, I, I almost gave it, I almost gave it the lower, the lower rating, but, but that would be, uh, that would be counting out the fight scenes, which are, which are really good, okay, which were really good. So again, Log Horizon 3rd Season, Episode 7, Montama. Montama Twitch. Now, Next episode has been teaser. Sino to dalawang, sino to dalawang cat ladies na to, alright? That's, that's all I gotta say, alright? If, uh, well, I'm about to make this the shortest review I've ever done. But, if you really wanna know, you just have to wait for, you just have to watch the next episode. But, seriously, it's one, it's the one thumb up for episode 7. Because it is, better than the last one. Beastars second season episode 7. We now know who Tem's killer is. Alright, and well, of all of all members of the drama club see Shapa. Alright? And well, mission accomplished for legacy. I don't know. <laughs> and well, alam narin ni Pina, the arrogant mount, the arrogant mountain goat, new member of uh, the drama club. Mahabanas mo ngayon naman, right? Grabe. B stars, uh, B stars at its most psychological, right? We now know the. Uh, the psychological profile of the killer. Okay. We now know the psychological profile because of this episode. Overall, it is a really awesome episode. Okay, yung pace niya understood. Kasi uh, the killer is going to be revealed, right? So you have to you have to build the suspense scene by scene by scene. Totally understandable, yeah. The flow, I did not expect that, okay? I did not expect that. So, um, well, it comprised, it culminated in the final scene perfectly because the episode showed us how he killed them. How, uh, how, it, how it led to, 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 to them's death. How, why he ate them. Okay. So, plot, yeah. Very good. Okay. That's not, this isn't my rating, okay? This isn't my rating yet. So, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's another awesome episode from Beastars. Okay? Grabe. No anime can be more psychological these days than Beastars. Okay? They... Talagang trademark na ng anime na to psychological right? so Beastars 2nd season episode 7 
Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Here's another reason why. Kasi, well, we now know, Legacy now knows who the killer is. And so is, so is Pina. Natin magagawa, pakilamero talaga tong, pakilamero talaga tong kambing na to. Pakilamero ang kambing to eh. Alright? He really loves to stick his nose, to stick his nose into someone else's business. Okay? It's, it's probably a hobby of his. Alright? So, that, now, that complicates the storyline. Okay? What's the deal? What is the deal with Pina? What does he want? Okay, what? Ano ma, ano mapapala niya rito sa information na to? Okay? He's withholding this kind of information. Di ba si Legacy? Alright? He's still weighing out his options as an investigator. Eh? As an investigator. Alright? So he's still weighing his options. So, uh, what's, what's the deal? What's the deal, Pina? Huh? Why are you why are you sticking your nose into this kind of business? Alright? So this now complicates the storyline. This is what, this is another reason why episode 7 is a great episode. Alright? Bukod pa sa, alam na natin kung sinong pumatay, kay Tem. Uh, more questions have been raised now. What's, what are, what are, Pina's motives and will Legacy fulfill his promise na i-expose yung killer? We'll just have to find out because well, eight, nine, ten, the final five episodes will start next week. Okay? We'll, oh, no, we'll, we'll start this week pala. It will start this week. Okay? We're now in the second half of the running. B-Star Season 2 is just a 12 episode run. So, the final five episodes will begin this week, starting from episode 8. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's five, five episodes. The final five episodes of season 2 will, be, will start airing this week. And, well, <laughs> drop those, drop whatever trashy anime you're, uh, you're wasting your time on and and start watching B-Star season 2, okay? Come on, rock your brain a little bit. <laughs> Wrap your brain a little bit. Beastars is the perfect anime to do. It's the perfect anime to do so. Alright? So again, Beastars second season, episode 7. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, did Twitch. Well, in typical Beastars fashion, no teasers whatsoever. Well, it is the final five episodes. So, ano pa inintay natin? Ano pa? Eh, tumutok na kayo. Alright? You better... Start watching the, if you can binge watch the first seven episodes so that you can understand the final five. 